Hey guys, Bill here from North Coast Cigar Review, and I am back with another review for you. I apologize, it's been a couple months since I've done this. Pretty hectic summer for me, but it is fall, and we all know that that's one of the best times to have a cigar. Heck, every time of the day is, is a great time to have a cigar, but fall is always a great time. So, I got something special for you, something I've wanted to review and not had a chance to do, uh, and that is the Romacraft Neanderthal. A really cool cigar with a really cool shape and a really, really interesting blend of tobacco. So stick around, stay tuned, and let's dig into something that, hey, is pretty slick and needs to be talked about. Stay tuned. All right, guys and girls, the Neanderthal by Romacraft. Uh, a lot of you guys have heard about Romacraft. It's a really cool company. Have a lot of really nice cigars. They always have these really nice blends to them uh, and some decent uh, variety of, of shapes and sizes. So the Neanderthal uh, by Romacraft. First of all, this is a four and a half by 52. So it's a little shorter, uh, but you know, a nice gauge. And right off the bat, you see something different with this cigar. You see that on the top? I'm gonna hold it there against the wall. This is a flat head to it. Uh, very similar to the CAO flat head. And if you watched my videos in the past, I love that cigar. Um, it's got this flat head on it. So that's something a little bit different. Uh, it's got a really, really nice weight to it. So for being it being a smaller stick, um, it's, it's got some weight, it's got some heft to it, um, and it's very dense. So it's got some really unique properties to it. Uh, but like I said, four and a half uh, by 52 as far as sizing goes. But the real beauty of this cigar is lies within the tobaccos that are being used. So first of all, we have a San Andreas Maduro wrapper. You all know me, I love that. That's one of my favorite wrappers. It's gonna uh, lend a nice chocolate uh, note to it probably. Uh, the binder is a Connecticut Broadleaf binder, um, which is a nice choice as well. So now you're going to have this like chocolatey, deep flavor out of the uh, wrapper and then that smooth Connecticut binder um, to kind of balance itself. Well, that's kind of cool. But the real interesting piece is the filled tobacco. It is a Pennsylvania Double Ligero. That's a first for me. Of all the cigars I've reviewed, all the time I've been smoking cigars, I've never had a Double Ligero uh, Pennsylvania tobacco. So that's pretty cool to have that inside this cigar. You know, when I was reading up on this and, and kind of doing a little research, it, it, it brought something to the forefront for me that a lot of people, when they think of cigars, don't really understand the craftsmanship and the work that goes into making a premium cigar. A lot of people just think it's a bunch of tobacco rolled up and you cut it, you light it, and it's some, you know, you're having cigars with your buddies outside. It's, it's not all, it's not like that. Um, a lot of these, boutique, the boutique cigars in particular, like this, there's a lot of science involved and a lot of research that goes into it to get these blends the right way to give you something different. And everything I read says that that's what this is. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the construction. I always talk about bands. I'm, I'm a big band guy in there. Uh, you can see we just have this kind of orange and white band. They do have the, uh, the Roma Craft um, kind of logo there. And then there's this imprint where it says Neanderthal going around and you can't really see that in the lighting here, uh, but it is, it is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get this lit. We'll get some initial impressions uh, off of the, uh, the initial lighting and then I'll go ahead and smoke the first third. I'll check back second third, final third to kind of let you know my thoughts. Uh, but hey, I'm excited. This is something new for me. Let's dig in and see what we have. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this uh, Neanderthal by Roma Craft lit. I want to show you something right off the bat. So I went ahead and cut this cigar already. And the cut, I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Now, that flathead top, I don't even know how to explain this. I cut it, it just came, that cap came right off. Um, and if I can try to get a good shot there, I want, if you could see the lip around the actual wrap of the cigar and the tobacco. That is pretty new for me. So I, the way they do this cap with this flat head is very, very different. That alone makes this a pretty slick cigar. Uh, so just something I wanted to share because that was something I had not seen before. So let's go ahead and toast this thing up. Oh, that's got a very nice aroma right off the bat. There's a ton of leather right there. All right, let's see what we got.
Okay. So, initial just impressions off the lighting. I know you don't get a lot of uh, overall flavor uh, profile experience off the light, but I always do like to do that. A lot of leather, and you could smell it right off the bat. Uh, when, when I toasted it, when I lit it, very deep, very dark leather smell to it. Um, also have that in the taste. Uh, it was good. Yeah, that leather is very, very strong there. A little sweetness from that Maduro wrapper, um, but also very smooth. I didn't get a lot of, a lot of times you do is you get a lot of spice right off the bat. I don't get that so far, which is kind of surprising with that double Ligero, but that is going to kick in uh, with a Pennsylvania double Ligero there. So I'm going to go ahead and sit back. I'm going to get through the first third of this. I'll check back in, let you know how it's going. Stick around. All right, guys. About a third of the way in with the Romacraft Neanderthal. I'm going to tell you right now, this thing is a flame-throwing bomb of a cigar. I'm talking, I mean, double the garrow, it's not double the fun. We'll just say that. I mean, it is spicy, it is strong, it is full-bodied. Romacraft says that this is the strongest cigar in their line, and they need to make that capital letters. Um... You know, I, I do like a more full-flavored, full-bodied cigar. This That is exactly what this is, and I'm going to tell you this is not going to be for everybody. I mean, I'm like Rocky Balboa taking body shots from I, uh, Ivan Drago here. It's pretty tough. Um, as we go through it, I'm hoping that it evens out a little bit, uh, but right now it is very, very spicy. The Ligero is, is very prominent. Um, the leather is still there, um, but there's, for me, there's nothing balancing this thing out. I mean, my tongue and my throat are on fire at the moment. So, uh, and that has nothing to do with the temperature of the cigar. That is the Ligero. So, uh, first, third impression is be ready because this thing comes out swinging. So, let's uh, go ahead and keep going here. Let's see how it ends up about the halfway point, and I'll check back with you. All right, halfway through the Romacraft Neanderthal. Now, let's, I'm going to start with this. This thing came out very, very aggressive. Tons of Ligero, a lot of spice, a lot of heat. Frankly, it was kicking my butt a little bit. I didn't expect it. As I've hit the halfway point of this cigar, it has mellowed out, which is what I was hoping for. I was really worried that there wasn't going to be any balance to this cigar, and it was just going to be this aggressive punch you in the face the whole way through uh, smoke. But that's not what it's doing. It's definitely backed off. Uh, as far as construction goes, I want to mention a couple things. So I had a really wonky burn right off the bat, a lot of canoeing. Um, it did correct itself, which was pretty nice. However, the uh, San Andreas Maduro wrapper actually started to lift a little bit right where uh, the end of the leaf uh, was kind of adhered to the cigar, and that actually started to lift. I got a little worried that I might see uh, even more of this wonky burn. However, it did take care of itself, and you see it, it burned pretty well. Uh, the ash stayed on all the way through the halfway point. I just lost it now uh, down the front of my coat, uh, you know, one of those <laughs> son of a moments. But uh, overall, it has calmed down, which is a really good thing because I don't know what my rating would have been uh, had it not done that just because... For it to be that aggressive and that strong right off the bat and not change would have would have probably lowered my score. Uh, however, it has backed off a little bit. Let's see what the final third has. I hate to compare this thing uh, to uh, boxing analogies the whole time, but now it's kind of bobbing and weaving on me. Like I had this real aggressive front. It's backed off a little bit. I'm waiting for that uppercut to come out of nowhere and hit me again. So let's stick around. Let's see what the final third has, and I will come back with the final score for you guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, wrapping up the Neanderthal by Romacraft. So as I got to the end of this cigar, and we're just about done now, I expected this aggressive spice to come back that was in the first third. Didn't happen. You know, it mellowed out about the midway point. The strength stayed there. I do want to emphasize that. This is a strong, full-bodied cigar to the point where I actually can kind of feel it in the pit of my stomach. Um, so definitely, definitely a stronger, 
more full-bodied smoke. So those of you out there that like that type of cigar, you will like the, uh, the uh, Neanderthal. Uh, but it never came back with that really aggressive uh, spice note that was on the front of this cigar. Uh, and that's that blending that we were talking about, right? Now, me personally, I would have liked to have seen it bit blended a little bit differently. You know, not as quite as strong in the beginning, but gradually build, then maybe mellow out and then come back. Um, but this one was all front loaded. Uh, and as we got through it, just kind of settled in and stayed just a really bold, really strong smoke throughout. So uh, the construction, everything else throughout the rest of the way kind of held its own. Um, so when we talk about an overall score, I'm going to give the, uh, the Neanderthal here a 7.5. It's a solid smoke. Uh, better than average, not great. I mean, it's not going to be like, hey, I need to run out and get a Neanderthal. Uh, I'm not going to say that. But definitely a solid smoke, really cool shape with that flat head uh, on it. Um, and like I said, when I cut it, it was really, you know, very interesting uh, cut to it. The, the cap just came right off. I had this cool lip with the tobacco uh, sticking out the end. That was pretty slick, a little bit novel, uh, but, but cool. Uh, so solid seven and a half, uh, you know, good smoke, just good smoke. Uh, definitely worth a try. Um, as far as pricing goes on this, I feel like it's a little bit higher on one of these guys. I've seen them a little over ten, so ten dollars, eleven, eleven fifty. Uh, you know, online you're gonna find them a little bit cheaper. Um, I've never seen these on uh, Cigar Bid. I would have bought them before. Everybody knows I love that app uh, and that site. Uh, it, never seen these there. Though. So you're probably gonna see these more in your B&Ms uh, or through your online retailer. So, like I said, overall seven point five solid smoke again guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing to the youtube channel north coast cigar review uh thank you for being on the facebook page as well uh again if there's ever anything you want me to review if there's a cigar out there that you want to get uh get me to review just drop a comment on the youtube channel i will do my best to review that cigar for you again everybody thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and as always smoke them if you got them guys take care